you're setting up work pieces and getting them ready to attack, uh, the mechanical finger can be one of the most handy tools that you can have. Um, this size works well for me, and its dimensions are an inch and a quarter round on the bottom, uh, and that's four inches long. This is a piece of half inch, and that is 10 inches long, and a piece of three eighths here, and that's five inches long, and it's sharpened on the bottom. Here's a couple of examples of how it could be used. Here's a mechanical finger being used to make another mechanical finger. Here's a mechanical finger being used to make another mechanical finger. Next up are the adjustable stands. Uh, these things are really handy in a lot of different ways and have a lot of uses. I use mine all the time. Um, here's the dimensions. This all came out of the scrap pile, so it's not very uniform. Uh, this bottom part I got at 11 inches, and this is a piece of two inch angle um, by quarter inch. And I just got a couple of other pieces, you know, sitting out like that. Um, this is a piece of one inch pipe. And I just welded it around the bottom, tacked it on the back side here. And that is, I got that at 21 and a half. Uh, for the lock nut, I just drilled a hole into the pipe, welded a 3 8 nut around there. This is a 3 8 bolt with a piece of uh, 3 8 round welded to it. And for the slide and stand part, I got, this is a piece of 5 8 Five eighths round at twenty one and a half. And this is a piece of uh, one inch flat by quarter inch, and I got it bent up at the area. This total twelve inches, and it's just bent up here uh, about inch and three quarter or something like that. Okay, here's a here's a couple of examples of how these could be used. You could use it like this with your drill press to support long parts. If you're working with a small welding table, you can use one as a table extension. If you're forging a taper in a long part, you can use one to help you maintain your angle. And of course, you can use it with the bandsaw. Next up is the butt welding jig. Uh, you can take any two, any two parts, like these two pieces of pipe, and set them in here, and you can tack them up and weld them, and they'll be in line with each other. Um, this is just two pieces of angle iron. I've got an uh, inch and a half angle iron, and uh, it's 36 inches in length. You would just set them up like this, uh, weld them, here, but don't weld them in the middle. Same thing on the other side. And then you would just clamp them in the bandsaw and cut the middle section out. If you're doing any type of ornamental work in your shop, you're probably already using bend and forks, but uh, they come in handy in a lot of different situations when you need a, when you need a certain type of leverage. Um, I've got a few of them made up here for different sizes. Um, and they're so easy to make. It, it, uh, it doesn't hurt having a few of them around. And you can also use them stationary by just clamping them in the vise. And you can just use them like that. Here's one I made out of two pieces of three quarter inch round rebar. It's almost four feet long. And I call it the convincer. So there's four easy projects that'll help you outfit your shop. So that's all for now and thanks for watching.